something you may never hear in another video about narcissists. You may never hear anything like this in another video about narcissists. Other YouTubers may have touched upon why the narcissist targeted you, but there is something that may not have been discussed before. Many people believe that the narcissist targets their victims based on money, power, physical attractiveness, or poor boundaries. But there is one other thing that makes you very attractive to a narcissist. It's something that separates you from other potential targets. It's something that I've seen in all of my clients. And that one thing is a path and purpose an intention to achieve a long-term goal that is personally meaningful and makes a positive mark the world. Your passion for something. Your desire and devotion to some activity or concept. That's what the narcissist is attracted to more than a person's physical attractiveness more than any amount of money or power. And this thing that the narcissist is attracted to should also be very important to you because it's also something that the narcissist is trying to destroy once they're with you. The narcissist chose you over other people. Because most people are just wandering the earth, not knowing what they're supposed to be doing with their lives. They don't have any focus. They're not working towards anything. They engage in low value behaviors. They're very toxic. Because they've given up on their lives. And that's not attractive to a narcissist. They don't want to be around someone like that. They don't want to be around someone who is merely existing rather than living their lives. There is a big difference between existing and living your life that most people in this world are merely existing. They're not doing anything with their lives. They're not passionate about anything. They don't have a meaningful purpose because they never found what they're here to do. They're just working at some job that pays them money. They don't really like their job. They don't really care about it, but it doesn't bother them enough for them to do something else because they may have this uncritical satisfaction with themselves or their achievements. They may feel satisfied enough with their own abilities and situation that they feel they do not need to try harder. They're just moving through life in a leisurely and aimless manner they're not really challenging themselves. They're just merely existing. They're not really living their lives. But if you were targeted by a narcissist, it's likely that you had already discovered your path and purpose. You had already discovered what you're passionate about. You had already discovered what means something to you. And that's what drew the narcissist to you. Because your passion brings you joy. 
and joy attracts people, especially narcissists. They want to be around that. They want to be a part of it. But then when they realize they can't synchronize with you on that, they want to destroy it. But this is what attracted the narcissist to you more than anything else. This is what separates you from other people. And it's also what separates you from the narcissist because they never really challenge themselves. You can't challenge yourself unless you take accountability because accountability is what causes you to take action. It's the key to your success. It may sound strange, but when you find something that you're naturally good at, when you find something that you're passionate and excited about, it could lead you to a narcissist. Which is how many victims of narcissistic abuse are business owners or celebrities. But even though this is true, it is important for you to focus on your path and purpose. It is important for you to keep moving while being aware that it may attract narcissists to you because you will see the same thing over and over again. You will experience the love bombing, the insults and put downs and the discard. Until it gets to the point when nothing surprises you anymore. Because this is all a byproduct of your success. And your success in itself is a byproduct. It's what happens when you do things that make you uncomfortable until they no longer make you uncomfortable. When you're on your path and purpose, it will have an effect. It will affect people. And it will draw some people to you, while it will push other people away. Depending on whether or not they think you're going to share your success with them, or whether or not they even desire to share a piece of it. But regardless of that, you should do it because it brings you joy. You shouldn't stop what you're doing just because narcissists are being affected by it. But they will be drawn to you. Because they think you could help to improve their lives. Because you're on your path and purpose. You found fulfillment. You're focused on your goals. They don't want to be around people who are failing at life. They don't want to be around people who are depressed. That may be the end result once they're done with you. But that's not what they're attracted to which is why they will discard you once they've ran you into the ground. Because the one thing you're missing when the narcissist discards you is that path and purpose. Instead of focusing on your goals, you end up being focused on the narcissist, which is why you don't need to have millions in the banks to be attractive to a narcissist. You just need to look like you're going somewhere. You just need to look like you're doing something. Even if you don't have anything. Because the problem with a lot of successful people is that they're not really happy with anything. They're not really excited about life. 
is not attractive to a narcissist. They don't want to be around someone who is just like them. They desire what they don't already have within themselves. They desire that passion. They desire that enthusiasm. They desire that excitement about life. Thank you for watching. I hope this video resonated with you. Please like, comment, share and subscribe. If you would like to donate, my PayPal link is in the video description. Coaching inquiries, you can email me at coaching.narcsurvivor.co.uk. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.